Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing all of my glowy luminous lip from within highlighters of dreams that don't add texture, that don't give you glitter and shimmer and sparkle, that are mature skin friendly, very flattering. So if that sounds good to you, then let's get started. So I have gone with a top 10 highlighters that give me that glowy luminous cheek, that bit of glow and luminosity without being like overly metallic or glittery or shimmery. But I've made sure that they are all permanent, currently easily available. And I have left out anything that's limited edition that's gone forever or that might be harder to get hold of. However, I have included four limited edition highlighters at the end, like honorable mentions, just in case they pop back up, just in case you can source them and just to include them because they do perfectly tick these boxes. So in this video, there are highlighters for everybody. Whether you want something that is actually quite glowy, but it still remains smooth and melts into the skin, or you want something that barely qualifies as a highlighter, we've got something for everyone. We've got powders, creams, liquids, everything in between, and we've got something that's gonna suit every skin tone. So hopefully within this video, there's something for everybody. If you're just trying not to look like a disco ball but you want a bit of the glow you know so I will do sort of traditional arm swatches as a comparison at the end but as we talk about each highlighter I'm going to show you more of a blended out hand swatch so you can more so see how they would look on the cheek because most of us aren't going around doing like you know a big giant stripe on the cheek but that is helpful to see sort of comparisons when it comes to shade and everything but I will be doing a more blended natural swatch so that you can actually see how this would look on the skin. So we're going in no particular order but I'm going to start off with the Pat McGrath. This is the Divine Glow Highlighter. Pat McGrath has several different highlighters but the Divine Glow seems to be like her permanent powder highlight. This will set you back £45 or $48 and appears to be available in four permanent shades. My favourite shade is Venus Nectar. This is one that is definitely on the sort of medium to higher level of shine when it comes to my favorite highlighters. It's very, very light reflecting, so it gives you a sort of wet look highlighter, that glossy skin, but it is so smooth. It really doesn't enhance texture. It melts into the skin, so it's very seamless with like blush and bronzer. You can't see highlighter, you just see a glowy overall effect. It's very, very beautiful. It's not the most subtle, it's kind of in the middle of the kind of range. If we say a 10 is like the most metallic highlighter, a one is barely any glow at all. This is like a five to six, I would say. But it is very smooth, very flattering on texture, melts into the skin, and it is one that is very versatile that you can use and buff out and it be very, very seamless and natural, or you can use wet or use a heavy hand and you will get more luminosity. So it is one that you can kind of, you know, be ver versatile between day and nighttime events and every day. And yeah, it ticks a lot of my boxes. It's one of my absolute favorites, one of my most used, and I love her. Next up, the highlighter that is out of the whole top 10, it's it's one of the least glowy and luminous. It's a very, very subtle, soft hint of luminosity. It's the Galon Terracotta Nude Glow Powder. This was kind of marketed almost as a bronzer for some skin tones. And so you can kind of see that it does have a bit more warmth to it than lots of the others that we're going to look at today. For me, you can see there it's got some warmth to the colour, but it does blend beautifully like an absolute dream to give you a very, very soft, subtle, lit from within effect. This really is about as subtle as it gets. I think I have one that is slightly more subtle than this one, but this is about as subtle as an 
a highlighter gets really very very beautiful buildable depending on your skin tone on me this is just a regular highlighter if you have a fairer skin tone you're going to get some color out of this and some warmth to the cheeks so that's something to consider and it's very buildable it has kind of a thicker formula it's not very thin and it has more base to it but it does blend beautifully and build really nicely i have to build this quite a lot to get the sort of level of glow that i like almost too natural for me which i didn't think i would ever say but very very beautiful it does have the typical terracotta galon scent so if fragrance is an issue for you you may wish to pass on that one this one is only available in one shade and will set you back 43 pounds i couldn't actually find this on any american website so if you know where this is available in the us please let me know in the comment section so i can link people to it next up let's talk about the first of two liquid highlighters that i I'm going to be speaking about in this video it is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter this is available in a whopping 12 shades and will set you back 39 pounds or 46 dollars this is obviously not just a highlighter this product is more of a multitasker it is like a primer slash skincare slash highlight glowy booster in one so you get a lot of product for a liquid it is a huge 30 mils like the same as you get for a foundation so using it as a highlighter it's going to last you a very very long time the benefit of this versus some of the others is one that versatility that you can use this in various different ways you can mix it with foundation you can use it as a primer you can use it underneath or on top of foundation and it works beautifully in my opinion in all of those ways it has a doe foot so you know you don't need to have a sponge or use a brush or anything you can just use the doe foot to dot it on and then tap out with a finger this is one of my favorite sort of liquid or cream highlighters and because of that huge shade range you're very likely to be able to find a shade that's going to look very natural on your skin tone it's also very thin and melts beautifully into the skin so it doesn't have you can't see it sitting on top of the skin it melts just as part of the skin and gives you this beautiful luminosity and with it being that liquid you know you really can use this like before foundation and make it completely seamless and very very understated or you can use it on top of foundation and get a bit more glow so again very very versatile not just as a product but the amount of glow that it's going to give you it's not going to leave a cast it's not going to leave shimmer and visible sparkle or glitter and it really doesn't enhance texture whatsoever you can see there my hand it just looks almost glossy it just doesn't look like highlighter it looks almost like i've had a facial on my hand just healthy glossy hydrated skin that's had a huge bottle of water this morning really very flattering really very versatile and a really good sort of investment product because it's going to kind of do a lot of different jobs in one for you also a bit more travel friendly because it's not going to shatter like highlight powder highlighters are very nerve-wracking to travel with because they are going to easily break i i would never dare it's always a cream or a liquid when I've traveled. So another Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, if liquid is not your thing, would be the newly launched Face Architect highlighters. This is the highlighter that I have on today. So you can see it's definitely like I'm wearing highlighter. This is not sort of necessarily a lip from within highlighter. It's got some luminosity, but very smooth. Again, very versatile. I've built this up a little bit today, but you can certainly use a light hand and buff it into the skin and blend it into the skin. And it's going to be more subtle than this. And you absolutely can dial these up very quickly as well. So a very versatile one. If like me, you kind of want less luminosity day to day, but on occasion, if you're going all out, you want the ability to dial it up this is going to be a really good choice for you another one from charlotte tilbury again with a great number of shades this has seven in the range a highlighter for every skin tone and it will set you back 38 pounds or 48 dollars these are refillable so this one does have it does move about a little bit in the pan because it has that refillable quality doesn't really cause me an issue day to day when i'm using it but it's just something to note that if that may bother you, then probably this is not gonna be the one for you. This one definitely has a bit more shimmer in the hand swatch, but as you buff this onto the skin, you really don't notice that. It is a very finely milled 
powder this formula and therefore you get a really nice smooth glossy effect to the skin absolutely beautiful definitely a more high shine a bit like the pat mcgrath this is kind of similar amount of shine to that one not as subtle as the galon and the charlotte tilbury flawless filter but also still not adding a huge amount of texture still not giving you like a really metallic finish and it really does melt beautifully into the skin next up another one that is really down the bottom end of the amount of glow and this one is from natasha denona and this is the all over glow not to be confused with the super glow or all the other different formulas this is i think natasha's like first powder highlighter formula that i remember and it is for the face and body available in three shades for 33 pounds or 38 dollars and you get a very lovely large amount 10 grams in this compact i have the first light shade which does look very light for me when you first look at it but this is one that really has not a huge amount of base and the colors although there are only three the colors are very versatile because again there's not a huge amount of color really to the highlighter the shades are going to be flexible across a lot of skin tones despite there only being the three to choose from which is less than a you know the charlotte tilbury's for example but i think these are probably more flexible on which skin tones they will work on because of that lack of base this one is very very subtle luminous lip from within it's a, a hair i would say glowier than the terracotta from galon but with less color so i think it's going to still look more natural on the skin because you're not going to see color it's just adding a bit of glow very very smooth very very natural very much lit from within again just kind of looking like my hand has been recently moisturized there actually a very very underrated highlighter i really feel no one really talks about it everyone talks about her super glow powders or her nude glow and that one is definitely left behind but it is still a really amazing one next up let's talk about a cream formula this one is for you if you are a cream lover i'm sure you probably are already familiar with this one in that case this is the westman atelier super loaded tinted highlighter this is in the shade Peau de Sante. One of my more recent highlighters that I've purchased looks like it's going to sort of be a blushing shade, but on me, this is very much just a highlighter with very little color compared to how it looks in the pan. This is available in four shades and is the most expensive on the whole list, setting you back £69 or $75, a hefty price tag, but I will say this product is going to last you forever. Four grams of a cream highlighter, that's a lot. Like this is gonna last you the rest of your life. Now this is another one that is almost too understated for me, but it's just perfect for when I want something really soft and subtle. You can see it on my hand there, very, very understated, luminous glow, no shimmer, no sparkle, and really not a very thick formula. For a cream, this is very thin, very, very easy to work with, melts into the skin really beautifully and subtly. And it's definitely one that gives you that wet look, shine and glow and luminosity. I find myself having to build this one up to get like the glow that I want. And I quite often will apply this and be like, where is it? I can't see highlighter and then until I sort of turn my face and turn my cheek and then I'll see as it hits the light just this gorgeous understated glow from within absolutely perfect if you want something that's more subtle and understated you like creams and you want something that's going to last forever that you can pop in your handbag it's going to be very travel friendly really solid packaging and really a very beautiful highlighter that is just a joy to use it has a very light fragrance i don't think it's going to bother you if you're sensitive from like from a nose smelling perspective but if fragrance irritates your skin then it may be something to do some research on because there is a hint of fragrance in that one. Next, let's talk about another liquid highlighter that I absolutely love. And this one is from Lisa Eldridge. This is her Elevated Glow available in five shades. And this one will set you back 27 pounds or $38. Couldn't read my own writing there for a second. Like the Charlotte Tilbury, this one from Lisa Eldridge comes with a doe foot, although this one is like a mega doe foot. It's ginormous. And this one has a much thinner 
more watery consistency again with the glass bottle and the doe foot this is going to last you forever and it also gives you that option like the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter to use this in whatever way you would like whether you want to apply this under foundation mix it with foundation on top of foundation it's completely versatile and up to you again this is one that kind of looks like skincare really melts into the skin beautifully very very thin very little base color so it becomes Becomes very natural and glowy and glossy as opposed to looking like highlighter. Now because this one has that really thin watery consistency I find this slightly trickier to use on top of foundation than I do the Hollywood Flawless Filter or the cream from Westman Atelier. Obviously with powders, I find those very easy to work with. They're not a disturbing product underneath. Liquids and creams can be tricky and this one I find slightly tricky. I prefer to use this one because it is a bit glowier. I prefer to use this either mixed with foundation or underneath my foundation because I have had issues with this picking up my foundation underneath because it's very thin and I'm not great at working with liquids and creams. And and therefore I do find it slightly trickier to avoid that happening. It's much higher shine, I think, than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So if you're looking for something that you want to use under or mix with foundation, but you do want to get the effect and you don't want it to be, you know, completely dulled down, then this will be one that will still give you glow through a sheer to medium foundation or mixed with foundation. You're still going to see that pay off from the luminosity this is a really good option for me i find it tricky to use on top of foundation next up let's go back to the powder highlighters and talk about the Hermes Perma Brass. This is available in one shade. There is another highlighter from Hermes, but it's not the same formula as this one. And this one is definitely a more understated, luminous, smoother formula than their other highlighter. This will set you back £75 or $95, a very, very expensive highlighter, but a very beautiful one nonetheless. This is quite a gold highlighter and it definitely has a beautiful amount of glow. Not, again, a huge amount of base colour to the formula, so it doesn't give me a huge amount of colour, but I think if you had a very fair skin, this may leave a cast, a slight cast. You may have to be slightly careful because it does have quite a strong sort of yellow undertone to it but it gives me such a wet look if you are looking for some glow and shine and luminosity you want that wet look without texture without it leaving anything on top of the skin you want it melted in but you do want quite a glowy wet look cheek this would be the one that I would recommend to you especially if you're looking for a powder as opposed to a cream or liquid it's very easy to get like the wet look dewy finish with a liquid or a cream it's hard to find in a powder and I think this one is like the wettest looking shine of all the powder highlighters that I've tried very very smooth and light reflecting I've never really found this builds to like a really metallic finish so it's a little less versatile than perhaps the Pat McGrath or the Charlotte Tilbury powder this one kind of just gives you this level of shine as opposed to being super buildable or malleable but it is a beautiful sheer shiny finish very much looks like water on the skin very very light reflecting as well so as you turn your face you're going to get a lot of reflection so it's beautiful for events and when you want to be you know a bit more shiny under certain light and look a bit more glossy and healthy next up we're going to talk about the most subtle in this whole video if you're looking for barely there luminosity absolutely the lit from within that everybody craves the most subtle you're not wearing highlighter you're just having a gorgeous skin day this last powder highlighter is the one for you so this is the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade luminous light now there are i think six shades of the ambient lighting powder however this is really the only one that you can kind of use as a highlighter i think a lot of them as the ones that i've tried at least the others are very much finishing powders that have luminosity to them this one is just probably the most luminous to me and therefore it can be used as a very subtle highlighter as well this one will set you back 45 pounds or 50 dollars and it is a very very silky light and thin 
finishing powder now you can use this all over the face as a finishing powder as intended but you can also use this quite strategically as a highlighter it is as i said the most subtle understated highlighter of this whole bunch you can really barely see that there's any highlighter there very soft and subtle very smooth if you sort of look very closely at the swatch when you do a heavy swatch you will see some little specks of glitter however these just melt into the skin when you buff this out onto the cheek you do not see glitter or shimmer or sparkle at all on the cheek it just takes on a very much candle lit luminosity when people say talk about this candle lit lit from within this is the very definition of that in my opinion almost invisible on my hand there just a little bit if i can compare to this hand the tiniest bit of difference really, just a, a hint of luminosity there that isn't on my other hand. Very, very soft, subtle glow. This is one that has been around forever. Jacqueline Hill used to tout this as like the ultimate bridal highlighter because it's so understated and it's not gonna add texture. It's not gonna look like you're wearing highlighter. It's just gonna look like you're glowing from the joy of the day. A gorgeous highlighter and the one I would recommend if you're looking for the most subtle of all of these. And finally for the easy to find, easy-ish to find permanent highlighters from this top 10, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light one. This one is available in six shades, again Charlotte Tilbury coming through with the shade range there, and this will set you back £30 or $40. This does have that sponge tip to it, so whether or not that's something that you enjoy is obviously going to be completely personal. I like it a lot, I like that it gives me you know, a really precise way to add a small amount, typically I will tap my finger on the sponge and then tap it onto my skin. I don't find it picks up product underneath. I find it melts into the skin beautifully and it gives me a really high shine. This is definitely the shiniest, most luminous, most gluey, glowy, gluey, glowy of the like creams and liquids that I've spoken about. It's definitely a shinier formula than most creams or liquids that are typically quite understated. This one definitely has a bit more luminosity to to it than the average liquid or cream highlighter but melts very beautifully and seamlessly into the skin to give you that really gorgeous wet look dewy shine. This is perfect if you're looking for like glass skin absolutely gorgeous. I find it very effortless this to work with as far as a cream. It's not going to be one that like the Hollywood Flawless Filter you're going to want to use all over the face but more strategically it's definitely glowier than the kind of priming options that we've spoken about. Definitely a pretty glowy highlight in a cream formula in the liquid formula again this is going to last you a very long time 12 mils of a liquid highlighter is a lot of product i know people talk about these being empty just because of the way the tube looks but there is 12 mils of product in here and you need the tiniest amount these also work beautifully on the eyes you know you can tap really lightly in the center of the eyelid for a very quick kind of one and done very charlotte tilbury look and effect very very beautiful took me a long time to discover these but now i have discovered them i appreciate the hype so now we're going to briefly talk about the four limited edition highlighters that I felt like I just couldn't leave out of this video because they are some of my absolute favorites of all time, but they are all limited edition. Some of these seem to be gone forever and you cannot find them. And some of these are still kind of hanging around in certain places if you look hard enough. So first up, let's talk about Chanel's Rose Door. This is their oversized illuminating face powder. This is available in two two shades and is limited edition. I think this was like part of their holiday collection. Both of these shades are quite deep. This is one that for me right now, as you can see there, quite deep for me. I can use this carefully and strategically, but this is definitely going to be one that I use more in the summer months when I'm more tan, there's more color to my skin tone so that this doesn't leave a cast or color on the skin. The other shade is the gold shade and that is even deeper. So this is one that is really perfect for those with a deeper skin tone. And it does have that gorgeous embossing on the product. 
I would say that this one is more luminous than Chanel's typical highlighter formula and it definitely has more color to it. So one to be careful of if you have fair skin, this may not be for you, but if you have a deeper skin tone, this one or the gold is going to be stunning. Such a beautiful refined glow, fairly high shine, but very smooth at the same time. Really not adding texture and really no sparkle or glitter, but quite a high luminosity. Now you guys know how often I've spoken about this next highlighter over the last couple of years since I picked this one up. It's been like my holy grail for years. This is Pat McGrath's Divine Rose. This for me is the sweet spot. This is the sweet spot that I'm looking for when it comes to a highlighter. Yes, it's got glow and shine and luminosity, but it is very smooth, very easy to work with and no matter how heavy handed I am or how much I use, it's still never like too over the top for me. But it's also like not too subtle either. It's not like I'm like, feel like I'm lacking. I feel like, mm, where's the glow? It never leaves me wanting more, but it never goes over the top. It's the absolute sweetest spot. What I look for when it comes to a highlighter. It has a very subtle shift in the shade from that sort of rose, to a more traditional gold. But on the skin, you really don't notice much of that sort of duochrome effect. It just melts into my skin tone so perfectly. It's completely seamless, very, very smooth, and on the more luminous, subtle side, but shiny enough that it gives me the glow that to satisfy that need for me to want that glow from my cheeks. This one was limited edition. Who knows if she'll come back. I really, really pray and hope that she will because Pat McGrath does incredible highlighters, but I think this is like the best of the bunch and I really wish it was permanent. It should be. We need, we need her to come back. If I start to hit pan on that bad boy, I'm good. there's gonna be tears. Tears on my pillow. Another one that I thought was permanent and it appears to still be on the website, the YSL website, but it's out of stock everywhere. So there's a possibility this one is coming back and this will be ideal for you if again, you want the most subtle of the subtle glowy lit from within, barely there. She's not wearing highlighter, she's just having a great skin day. This is the YSL Touche Class 3D All Over Glow Powder. Very little color, again, we love that because it's versatile. I can use it winter and summer, lots more skin tones can use her. Very, very subtle. This is as subtle as the Hourglass for sure, more subtle than the Galon. Can, I mean, as the name would suggest, can be used all over the face if you want a glowy face. Zero like glitter, absolutely beautiful, very finely milled, glowing powder. Again, this one does have a slight fragrance. If you're sensitive to a fragrance, it may not be for you, but if you are looking for a very smooth, understated, very subtle luminosity that does not look like you're wearing highlighter. This is another excellent one. And finally, one that I know you guys know how much I love this one when it came out, still loving it now. I don't talk about it because it appears to be gone. And we know when Chanel does limited edition, it appears like they mean it. It's like not like Natasha Denona, where they say something's limited edition and it stays there for like three or four years. This appears to be gone. And I'm so sorry because it's so special, but this is the Chanel Rev de Camellia highlighter with that stunning flower embossing on the product. She's absolutely as beautiful to look at as it is on the skin. The special thing about this one, other than that stunning flower, is how sheer and almost colorless it is, which really lends itself to giving a very natural, barely there, lit from within, beautiful glow because it's not, there's no color. It's not fighting with anything. It's not, you know, showing up as a streak on your skin. It's not leaving a cast. I can use this winter or summer because it doesn't have a huge amount of color. This is quite buildable, this highlighter. I find I can get it from barely there to actually quite high shine, but the smoothest, glossiest high shine that again, it kind of takes on 
almost a cream quality and it kind of looks like you've used a liquid or a cream highlighter because it's giving you very like shiny wet skin but completely colorless and completely melting into your skin in a very natural way. A very refined, stunning glow. Absolutely beautiful, quite a unique highlighter just because of that lack of a base, but still quite a shiny, glossy finish. Oh, we love her. If you missed out on her, I can only apologize and beg for Chanel to give us more. If you can find her, if you can find this one, snap them up, okay? Okay, so those are all of these glowy, luminous, beautifully smooth highlighters. Let's have a look at them all swatched in a row like little ducklings. So we have the Pat McGrath in the shade Venus Nectar. We have the Galan Terracotta Nude Glow. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4. Charlotte Tilbury Face Architect in Gilded Glow. Natasha Denona All Over Glow shade 1. Westman Atelier Peau de Sante. Lisa Eldridge Solar Light. Hermes Perma Brass. Hourglass Luminous Light, barely visible. And the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight, that's the original shade. So there we have the top 10. And just in case anyone wants to torture themselves, let's swatch the limited edition ones too. Chanel Rose Door. Pat McGrath Divine Rose, Chanel Rev de Camellia, and the YSL All Over Glow Powder. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my top 10 permanently available highlighters for glowy, glossy, lit from within, luminosity without texture, without glitter and sparkly cheeks, understated, glowy luminosity for whatever your preferences may be color-wise or formula-wise. Hopefully there's some recommendations there for you. Please let us know what your number one glowy, luminous, understated highlighter is in the comments section. Did I miss out your favorite? Are there any that you would recommend to me that I try? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.